So if you're in May here with Cahal Pendra, the new Cage Warriors welterweight champion, how does that sound? That sounds pretty fucking good. <laughs> uh, you were calling Gale out for a while. Um, did, did the fight live up to your expectations? Did it go to game plan or talk to us about the fight? Uh, I really thought I was going to knock him out. Um, I, I thought that was kind of the game plan, but uh, looking at previous fights of his, didn't see too much of a stand-up. So I kind of uh, thought he was kind of weak in that area, but he, it turned out he was actually all right, pretty, pretty decent at stand-up. And, uh, some good exchanges. And when they were reading the scorecards, were you worried at all? No, I knew I had to, had to win. Um, what's next now? Do you think Che Mills or to the UFC, or what, what do you think's next? If you yeah, have to, it's not up to me. I mean, whatever happens, happens. I'm uh, happy to just keep uh, trying and keep getting better, and whatever's next is, uh, is next. Yeah, did any part of his game surprise you? Maybe the takedowns, or? Uh, yeah, it was a little bit shocked. I, I felt I kind of he got one takedown on me. I think it was just one takedown he got, and uh, I felt it gave it a little bit easy. I, I don't know, I just didn't fight. To, uh, I'm very very hard to take down. I just kind of relaxed for a little second, but uh, I got back to my feet and uh, I didn't let him take me down again. Um, your teammate Chris Fields lost recently to Jesse Taylor. Uh, Jesse Taylor claims he'd fight at any weight. Uh, would you be interested in a match with him? fight an American wrestler it's something that, that uh, just a challenge but I really think I've got good wrestling I'd like to test that in a fight against uh, an American high level wrestler so that'd be pretty cool um, Are you looking to get back in there soon or are you going to take a little bit of a break and relax or what's the plan? Um, I don't know I'll have to talk to John Kavanagh uh, I'm getting straight back into the gym anyway and back training and uh, we'll have a discussion on Monday and we'll see when he wants me to fight again it was a five round decision. Did you expect it to go five rounds? Were you were you preparing for that or? I didn't expect it to go five rounds. I was prepared to go five rounds. So, um, like I say, I'm actually uh, I feel pretty good considering I just fought hard for 25 minutes. I feel pretty good. So, uh, just shows the training I'm doing is good. But uh, uh, I really thought I'd finish it the first or second. Uh, talk to us about the support you you got here. It was insane. I think it was felt nearly as loud as it was in uh, in Dublin in the Helix there in June. So. It was pretty incredible, and I want to say thanks to everyone. Again, I mean, there was a lot of friends and family here, but there was also just a lot of Irish people living in London that just came to support me, and uh, I mean, it's great. That's the great thing about the Irish. They support each other wherever they are in the world. It's, uh, it's uh, really, really good. And do you have anybody you'd like to thank? Yeah, I'd just like to thank my, uh, John, uh, John Cavanagh, my head coach, uh, all the rest of my coaches in SPG, uh, Milner in Iceland, uh, all my teammates, the guys in the Irish Strength Institute, and, and my sponsors. Uh, Ryder Dye, Jim Gear.e and uh, Vitacoco.